after the end of this video if you think this video is not helpful dislike this video but if you find this video helpful like this video and subscribe to this channel because we provide quality content hello everyone welcome to code with anurag where you can find latest job updates and complete place and preparation in this video i'm going to discuss about ibm code neck latest exam pattern there will be total four rounds i'll discuss about each round one by one also in this video i'm going to share previous years coding questions which were asked in ibm code neck also in this video i'm going to discuss what is the selection process how many questions will be there how much time you will get to solve the questions will there any negative marking or not exam will be online or face to face important topics everything i'll discuss in this video so without wasting any time let's get started before that if you haven't subscribed our this code with Android youtube channel please do subscribe also this is our another youtube channel job updates for you where you will get daily latest job opportunities with placement assistance in hindi so you can show your support for this channel as well now without any further delay let's get started so first let's discuss about this selection process so there will be total four rounds round one will be coding assessment which will be virtual round two will be english language assessment which will be virtual round three will be group discussion which will be face to face and round four will be interview that is technical interview plus hr interview that will also be face to face please note each round is an elimination round so be ready for that once you will qualify one round then only you will uh, be able to attend next round please note this one so now let's discuss about next round i mean first round so round one that is coding assessments there you will need to solve two questions in 55 minutes there is no negative marking if you attend the question if you solve half coding question no issue there will not be any negative marking now let's discuss some coding questions which were asked previous year so this is one question uh, program to check the validity of password without using re regex right regex so without using re regex expression you need to check if a password is valid or not so you can find this question on geeks for geeks so i i will provide this link don't worry in the description box so you can check this coding question you can uh, see the examples and even you have the solutions as well here so i'm not going to discuss the solutions otherwise video will take a lot of time so here you can see this solution in c plus plus that is easy question right here yeah c plus plus here in java python 3 c sharp javascript you can choose any one of the right after that next question is you can see here append and delete this also next question so this question was also asked uh, last year and previous question was also asked uh, last year so you can see uh, this question here what you have to do actually you need to append and delete uh, yeah you can read this question better right so once you scroll you can find all the details here even here you need to write the code where just scroll here inside this function you need to write your code right so simple code is already there just you need to write a write a function in order to achieve this scenario right so yeah so just uh, practice so how you can practice question is where you can practice these type of questions for ibm code neck or ibm coding exam so uh, there are a lot of websites for example hacker ranks hacker earth and geeks for geeks code staff right so you can find i will provide these links so you can find a lot of questions here you can see here this question this question right there are a lot of questions which you can see which you can practice right so don't worry i will provide the link now let's discuss about next round yeah round two round two uh, will be english language assessments there uh, 10 questions will be there you need to solve 10 questions in 10 minutes again there will not be any negative marking but please note you will be able to attend this round once you qualify coding round that is very important right this uh, so each round is an elimination round yeah and uh, what is the syllabus for this simple basic basic grammar things so you can easily um, search on google uh, like some topics for example here if you search on google verbal ability practice questions right so simple you can get lot of uh, websites for example first one india Bix. if you click on this you can see there are a lot of topic wise uh, right topic wise uh, spotting errors uh, synonyms antonyms there are a lot of topics you can practice topic by topic for example let's click on this uh, spotting errors right here you can see 
this question solve uh, as per the direction they, you need to re read the direction you need to answer accordingly so you can practice on this website there are a lot of websites on google you can practice right you easily practice so there will be 10 questions you need to solve 10 10 questions in 10 minutes right that is very easy uh, difficulty level will not be difficult that will be easy so if you have basic understanding and if you if your grammar is good then you can easily solve the questions right now let's discuss about next round yeah round three will be group discussion so in group discussions you uh, you will get one topic so they will give one topic and uh, your group group means you and some other candidates will also be there uh, they you all need to discuss about that topic that random topic they will give one random topic any topic they can give they can give any topic on current affairs any any topic they, they will give you and you, they will give around 20 minutes in 20 minutes uh, you all need to discuss about those topics so please try to speak as much as possible and one more important suggestion i can give for group discussion always try to conclude always you try to can conclude because um, suppose suppose you all have discussed that topic right so uh, whoever um, conclude conclude that uh, that topic so uh, that will get high priority so always try to conclude uh, at last you always say say like yeah let me conclude then it will be uh, a very impressive thing right yeah so this is again very easy just you need to speak as much as you can right this is done once you qualify this round then uh, final round will be interview interview technical interview and hr interview so here are some important topics for technical interview uh, so topics from your introduction introduction means whenever you will attend technical interview then they will ask introduce yourself right so whatever you will mention there like introduce yourself whatever you will uh, mention like i suppose you will say i am good in coding or uh, i have a good knowledge of uh, data structure so if you will mention any topic there then most probably uh, they will ask questions from that right so please mention only those topics in your introduction in which you are really good so that that is very important topics from your introduction and that thing is topics from your resume so whatever you will mention in your resume most probably they are going to ask from your resume so if you cover these two things introduction and resume more than 70 80 percent questions will be from introduction and resume only now after that 20 30 percent questions will be from for example some questions will be from data structure dbms oops even javascript c plus plus difference between java and c plus plus similar right and they may ask to write a code they will say share your screen and write a code right uh, on, on any particular coding basic coding questions right they can ask so be ready for that also and in hr uh, they will simple hr is just a formality around there they will just check your confidence and your english so that is uh, very easy actually so just uh, you need to answer confidently in hr so yeah and one tip i can give for hr round at last whenever uh, hr asks do you have any question so please ask any question if you say no i don't have any question it will create wrong impression please do ask a question like for example i can give one example what you can ask so you can ask simply you can ask um, uh, suppose if i get selected then what will be my roles and responsibilities you can ask this question right so this type of question uh, if you ask then it will show yeah you are really interested in this job right then it will create very good impression on interviewer so please do ask a question whenever interviewer asks do you have any question yes okay yeah i think uh, that's it from my side in this video if you think i missed anything so please feel free to ask in comment box i will definitely reply and you can join our telegram channel there you can ask or discuss any topic from me and from other candidates you can discuss anything right on our telegram channel link is already given in the description box so please check it out yeah uh, and if you think this video is helpful please share with your friends even uh, right with your friends and like this video yeah subscribe this channel for more such videos also you can follow me on instagram link is already given in the description box and also in the pinned comment so please check it out yeah thank you for watching this video